This is a uh, this is a 94 CBR F2, and uh, it doesn't really matter that much which which bike you're doing this to. But I am going to show an easier way for removing this uh, this top this upper triple tree. Um, if you look at this one, you can see I have a there's a small gap. I can get the focus on it. There's a small gap here that I can't really put a screwdriver in. Um, so I can't really wedge a screwdriver in there to separate this clamp part that goes around the fork. So now you, if you look at the bottom triple tree, there's enough of a uh, there's enough of a gap there to where I can shove a screwdriver. I can you know gently hammer a screwdriver in and not damage the fork. Um, but the top, what I'm actually going to do, you have to be careful because you don't want to damage the the threads on this on this bolt. But I basically just took the bolt that used to thread in from this side. Right, it threads in this side, but it slides in this side. And I basically just turned it around and put it on the other side, and then put this. Uh, this is a 10 millimeter screwdriver. This, uh, <laughs> this is a screwdriver. If you don't know what this is, this thing is called a screwdriver. Uh, so this is a 10 millimeter wrench, and basically I just used it because it's flat on both sides and it's small enough to where it slides in between. And I, I just tightened the uh, the bolt just tight enough to where it's just starting to push against this the edge of this and this the same thing I just used the it, it's, it's a large enough screwdriver to where it's flat on each side um, and it's wide enough it's flat on each side and it's wide enough to where I can push on it but you do want to be careful not to damage the thread so you don't want to over tighten this um, this is a pretty thick threading so you're not you don't need to have to worry about stripping it with the amount of pressure that's going to be put on it on, on this but what you don't want to do is damage the uh, the end of the threads. If you do, you can take a, a hacksaw to it um, and just kind of uh, smooth out the end of the threads where it was where it was damaged. But um, there shouldn't be enough pressure put on this to where you are going to damage damage the threads. You only want to open this up a little bit to where you'll see a little bit bit of a gap. So I have this is uh, six millimeter. I'm used to working with both hands, but I'm hoping I can do this without that uh, wrench coming out. So it's not not a very full turn. I mean, not a not a a lot of cranking on the on the wrench at all. It, the gap started to open up. You can't tell. The gap started to open up a little bit. Um, I don't think there's enough. You can see it on the camera, but I can definitely tell. And uh, this side, I'm just going to do the same thing, and hopefully the screwdriver will stay in place, where I don't have to move the, uh, the camera. So there's probably only about one full turn on it, and again. It's probably not. It's it's not enough pressure to where it's going to damage the threads. You don't want to over tighten this, and you don't want to open it up enough to where you are going to damage the threads on the on the bolt. If you have extra bolts, I mean, I actually have a ton of extra bolts, um, but I should be able to just pull up on this. With one hand, it is kind of difficult. So that side slipped up a little bit. This side's coming. So yeah, and again, I'm, I'm just doing this with one hand. I mean, if I'm doing this with one hand, then um, it can easily be done with two. But don't, I know there's going to be people that are going to leave negative comments, say, well, if you're doing that, you are going to damage the end of the, uh, the threads on the end of the bolt, which you can try it. And not enough pressure is being put on this to damage the ends of the, the ends of the bolt. So, again, if I had both hands free, this would be coming off a lot easier. But instead, I have to pull up on uh, on one side at a time. Almost there. And it's moving more. Just like that. It's up, it's off. Now, um, you can, I, I would warn you not to just rip the screwdriver out because 
your chances of actually damaging the threads when you do that are going to be greater. Screwdriver's out. It's loose. Now, this isn't going to be mentioned in uh, in the book because, like in your repair manual if you have it, because they're not going to tell you uh, a way that you could, they're not going to tell you to do it a way that you could potentially damage your, um, your triple tree, the bolts that hold the triple tree in. So, alright, so that's it. It's off. Now, if you want to remove the ignition, some of these have breakaway bolts, um, which breakaway bolts are pretty hard to get off. Uh, but this is actually a T30, I guess, T25, T30, Torx. So take the ignition off, or you can follow the wires to where they begin, which I don't know where it begins. It looks like it begins behind the gauges on this one. And you can just unclip it and bring it in, you know, bring it, bring it off. But I'm taking mine completely off. So I'm actually going to uh, sand this and paint this and make it look better than um, than what it does right now. I mean, it does look amazing right now. I mean, look at the quality paint job that somebody did on this thing. This is incredible. You don't see this kind of, of, of quality craftsmanship anymore. Um, not craftsmanship. Wow. Okay. Bad video, I know. But anyway, so that's how you take the triple tree off a different way. Again, these are small gaps to try to shove a screwdriver in. And uh, yeah, so now it's off. I can paint it thing I'm actually going to show you that you can actually so where this was at before you see I'm threading this out by hand I'm unscrewing this by hand and it's moving perfectly fine threads were not damaged if you do this wrong threads will be damaged so be careful watch carefully um, how the screwdriver or wrench is pushing against the bolt so I'm gonna focus on this show you that it is not threaded. Uh, not threaded. The threads aren't damaged. But you can see where the where it was moving against the wrench on the end, kind of shining it up a little bit. But it's fine. Didn't damage the threads because it wasn't over tightened. So there you go. Undamaged bolt. Undamaged aluminum. Still, I, I threaded it out by hand. If you, if you can thread it out by hand, it's not damaged. So. Thanks for watching and subscribe.